new moon April 20th, 2023, and a rare hybrid solar eclipse. Now, that's quite a bit coming our way, and believe me, it's going to be all for benefits. Anyway, there's a lot of excitement going on as the April new moon on the 20th is a solar eclipse. You might want to tread lightly come the end of the month. Like retrograde, eclipses can challenge the status quo, but not necessarily in a negative way. Now remember, don't take everything as a negative. Let's try to focus positive. And by the way, if you like the work I'm doing, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you click a like button here on this video and write a comment. Love to hear from you. Anyway, we get back to this. What, make, what makes this eclipse different from most is that it begins as an annular solar eclipse quickly transforms transformation transforms to a total solar eclipse and ends as an annular solar eclipse again. The partial phases are the same as any other annular or total solar eclipse. This type of solar eclipse is called an annular total or hybrid solar eclipse. The maximum duration of total phase of solar eclipse is 1 minute and 16 seconds near Timor Lesta. The new moon, April 23rd, is the second Aries new moon of the year, and as it coincides with the eclipse season, you better be prepared for a fun ride. Another month, another Aries new moon. As you may remember, on the first day of the spring equinox, the sun and moon aligned to usher in the astrological new year with a very powerful and very lucky new moon March 22nd in Aries. Eclipses are known for bringing rapid shifts and unexpected twists of fate into our lives and they're believed to help realign us with our destiny. Even if our lives get bur burned up or buried or turned upside down, it's still a process. So go with it folks. During April's solar eclipse, the sun and moon are aligning in the dedicated and sensual sign of Taurus, which puts an emphasis on our self-worth, material possessions, and physical environments. This new moon could totally change the things we value and want to work towards, and could also deliver sudden new opportunities in the realms of money and resources. Eclipses can be chaotic cosmic periods, but the stable and sure-footed Taurus energy can help us stay steady amidst the shakeups. By the way, did you know I do a special New Moon Life Path reading? Well, check it out on my website. It's really quite unique and will give you some guidance in your life. This New Moon is calling for you to find your comfort zone, and it will assist you in finding your stability and security so that you can move forward in a positive way. Although this new moon might not be quite as visible as its counterparts, it's no less significant in astrology. In fact, it's the perfect time to set intentions and begin anew. With that in mind, grab your notebook or calendars and start mapping out a new plan. You might want to tread lightly come the end of the month, but don't worry you're going to be okay. Once we enter this eclipse portal, it's a good time to go with the flow and not set intentions because eclipses are going to be super chaotic and a bit unpredictable. Through things might seem upside down and you might even feel a bit out of sorts. In the end, you'll appreciate the shakeup even if you don't right now. Eclipses have a really fun way of brilliant bringing chaos to a new lunar cycle. In particular, it affects Taurus themes of security, money, and loyalty. Be extremely cautious with what you're letting go of, what you're selling, and what you're buying. What is a new moon? The new moon is a time for planting the seeds of intention, conceiving new ideas, and starting new projects. In, astrolo in astronomic terms, this is when the moon moves between Earth and the Sun 
and the side of the moon facing us does not receive direct sunlight. So there you go, a little different view on it. But welcome abundance. This is a perfect time to start creating more security and comfort in your life. It can be financial, relationships, or just within you. This new moon is a wonderful time for you to set your intentions out to the universe. It may take a little time, but if you allow yourself to be guided by your angels and guides, you will find your perfect spot and know that it is being blessed as the divine energies are coming together in to help you find security, comfort, and peace of mind. Ooh, that's quite a bit. I'm looking forward to it. Remember this new moon is the perfect time to create what you are looking for. Plant the seeds and watch them grow. Let this new moon light the path for you and know that you are supported on your spiritual path no matter where you are. Use the time wisely. This is a time of new beginnings. Die to the old to begin again. Use this energy to discover what has been holding you back. Plant seeds of manifestation. Harness the energy of all things of beauty. A simple new moon chant. Step 1. Write what you want to bring into your life on a piece of paper. Step 2. Store it in a safe place and revise every new moon for six months. Apply all of these ceremonies and rituals on the new moon and look for the seeds to sprout. Personal life plas path, ah, lost that personal life path blessings. Re again, I do a special new moon reading. Find out what energy this new moon will bring to you and ask your angels what you should be working with this lunar cycle and what you should let go of. Find out more in my special new moon reading. Wishing you and those you love new moon blessings. This is Cherokee Billy. <laughs>